Hello, Melissa's here. Not not. It, yeah, she's not even here. And uh, so, oh, sorry, you can kind of see. I make it like that so you can't see her. Very good. Hey, go. cool, you're doing the Yeah, you see, this is my new cord chart. This is good. I'm very proud of it because I spent, I don't know, five minutes on it. <laughs> well, maybe like 30 seconds at a time over, but like a lot of time. A lot of times. So, I show you how I have progressed. Mm -hmm. This seems out of tune to me. Oh yeah, the handyman is here. <laughs> I, I hope you can hear that. We do not need a handyman, I am a handy. Yes. <laughs> this is what I was worried about, about, I, I can probably only tune it a few more times. Well, probably like 15 more times, but uh, uh, I'm going to have to get a new battery eventually. So it was a little bit out, uh, out of tune, so let's listen to this. Does that sound in tune to you? I don't know. I think that's in tune.
I don't think it, I'm not even going to try to strum that one anymore because it is silly to strum that one. Okay. Why? It's it's just three strings. It doesn't make sense. Like, well, basically, I can't strum it in a way that um, sounds good okay. because it's only three strings. Okay. If I had a pick, maybe it would be different, but. better than when you last heard me? Yes. I should have saved that question for the end of my practice. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I just did the caged. Do you know about caged? No. It's C A G E D. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and, and in music theory, which I is, they're trying to teach me. My friends are trying to teach me. Um, it's important because with caged, you can do something where you can go up and down the thing. Oh, cool. But I don't even know, if, like. Uh, so these are called chords, but they're also called shapes. Yeah. And um, I don't know if I'm learning the right shapes for what the caged whatever thing. <laughs> I, I, I really understand very little about what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> I should bring you my tab. I have a whole bunch of tabs that I printed out. Red Hot Chili Pepper solos are so easy. Yes. I can do the Californication solo. Oh, I like that song. Well, can you do it now? No, I don't remember. Oh, okay. Well, doesn't that take some practice to be able to just, like, do it? Yeah. But they're, like, they're simple. They're not...
So I can't quite do that, but what I was trying to do there was the B chord. Uh, let's see if I can... Oh, the one that you apparently need like six fingers for? Well, you basically, um, you bar the second fret. Oh, okay, I gotcha. It, am I using the right language for that? I think so. And then you just put push down the two. Yeah, yeah, okay. with either one finger or two fingers if you are bad, and I am bad, so... <laughs> well, I would have to use two, two fingers are too small. But I'll show you in a little bit this other thing that is kind of similar to that that I'm having difficulty with because it also involves barring. <laughs> Pickle jar found a crime scene. <laughs> Pickles seem to play a very large role in this case. <laughs> they notice a strong aroma of pickles. <laughs> So I I can kind of do B7 and I can't really do B and of course there's the handyman. See that I just did an F7. F7 is really easy, but like I thought all of the B and F was too hard for me. So that that's like that's the the this area is like the limit of what I'm capable of. Okay. Everything else I can pretty much do. Cool. And so this is what I'm having trouble with. Do you see? Look, I made this. I made it myself. Oh, and so I, I was watching a video and based on the video I figured out this is how the things are. Okay, cool. So I drew it. Ah, good. And right now I have to go from either barring this and muting the second string but I don't think I am supposed to mute the second string. Oh. <laughs> so. That's what it sounds with the muted second string. If you know the song, that sounds more or less right. I can play you the song when I'm done recording if you want. What song? Uh, Refugee Camp, but I don't think you know it by name. Okay. It's the one that goes, everybody gets a little excited about a little music. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. It's that song. Okay, cool. See, this is so hard because I need to unmute this string, yet still like, the more I unmute this string, the harder it is to get my middle finger uh, to push down on that. Ooh. They're like... I don't know, that's close. And then, not only do I have to know how to do this, but I need to know how to do this so well 
that I can basically go bah, 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 <laughs> yes. like throughout the song. So I don't know how to practice that aside from just included in my practice every day. Yeah, I think that's the only way. I mean, I guess I, so it's been 16 minutes, so we can go back to the top of my practice and then maybe come back to it again if my finger and my brain still have energy. I figured out there's like two main things you have to worry about. First of all, if your fingers hurt too much, you basically can't play because... Because that hurts, yes. <laughs> well, they, like, they'll naturally... Like, okay, so... That's like them put... That's put them pushing down solidly. Hmm. But if they hurt naturally, they'll push down weak and it'll... Really it'll sound like that. That actually does sound okay. But... but that sounds better than... I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. I I, I mean maybe there's technique to like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Good background. <laughs> missing one of the C's. Oh well there's there's this. But more importantly, because it's harder. fingers are starting to hurt now. Oh, no. So that's all the C's. Okay, I just went through everything really fast. <laughs> Can 
Can you call a penis a, a cunt and it's still a penis? No, because then it would be a cunt. But what if, like, what if someone was, like, slapping you in the face with his penis and you said to him, get your cunt out of my face? Then the guy would be very confused if he does not have a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think it would make him stop slapping you in the face with his penis? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> told me for a long time that I need to do, do more of the upstroke. I do too much downstroke. Like it just feels natural for me to go down. Yeah, because it, it, it saves some, um, it helps you do it fast. Because you have to move your hand back up anyway. Yeah. So you can strum faster and you know, do it both ways. Is it any wonder it breaks? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I hate that string. For me, the G string is always weird. Well, I, I really like the G chord just because I spent, I, I figured out basically my main reason for not being able to do it was I was holding it with my arm like this. Mm -hmm. But if I hold it with my arm like this, I can get the fingering better. Oh, okay, cool. But I really like the G chord. That sounds nice, right? Yes. And then even like... Uh, okay, I've got to turn myself around. Yeah, you notice I was talking before about the finger tiredness and the mental tiredness? Yes. So now I'm getting the mental tiredness. So like my fingers hurt and I'm kind of like, it's taking me more time to get my fingers into proper position. And if I were to try something really difficult, it would be even more difficult. Like this. <laughs> See how that's basically not how it's supposed to sound. Uh, mainly one string was wrong, but um, I just so can. I, I do a good job. You did very I, I, good I job. I make some learn. Yes, you are good. <laughs>